Hey, I'm Drew Stevens. Today I'm going to walk you through the new Indy Parks Fun Finder. Uh, this is going to be an informal video. Um, I'm hoping not to have to go back and edit it, uh, so please excuse all of the uh, rough spots, uh, but I hope you will find it uh, useful and you'll find the new software program, uh, the internet application, uh, to be useful uh, for finding stuff going on in Indy Parks. When you hit the home screen, you're going to see the welcome box. Um, if you don't, this green box doesn't pop up, you probably need to update your browser. Um, that's pretty easy to do. You can follow instructions um, for browser update online. Um, and once that's done, or once you have the green box, you have three options. You can either show a park map. This will take you to a Google map um, with uh, points for all the Indy Parks locations. Find a park near me. This will do the same um, type of action as the show park map, uh, but will uh, use your current location after you grant it permission. Or in this box, you can type in a park name um, or a street that a park lies on um, for um, information on that. What won't work, it won't give you, if you put an address in here, it, it will not substitute that for, the, um, for a, a, the park near me feature. For the park near me feature, you have to, you actually have to physically use the, um, uh, your uh, current location. So we're going to start off by doing the find park near me, and I'm downtown in the city county building right now, so it's going to drop a point right in the middle of downtown Indianapolis. So over here on the side, you see the um, find a park options just like you had on the home screen. Across the top here you have home, search, and your current screen is uh, in gray. Up at the top are our social media links and we do invite you to follow us on social media. The screen uh, is, is interactive so it's just like any other Google map and it has points on it for all of our Indy Parks locations. Not all Indy Parks locations have information um, as of the launch of this. We're working on adding new content as quickly as possible. Um, we are prioritizing them uh, and handling them uh, with the largest parks first. Um, so hopefully we'll have uh, a lot of information by the time uh, you start using this application. So we're going to start off easy. We're going to um, go ahead and we're going to view Broad Ripple Park, which is up here here. There's Tarkington, Arsenal, Canterbury, and up to Broad Ripple. Great. So we're going to click on the pointer, on the um, red pointer, and that'll pop up the name of the park and then a link to take you to the park page. Now some of the larger parks are integrated into the Google Maps layer already, so you see Broad Ripple Park. If you click on the uh, tree, it'll actually take you over to the Google map page for that park and run a Google search on Broad Ripple. Uh, so what you're actually wanting to do is make sure you are clicking on the red bubble. And then click on park page to visit the information page for the park. Up at the top you'll see information um, pertaining to things that are immediately happening, important events happening in the parks right now. So information that you might find up there is information if a park has been closed for a day for a special event, if a park is close to a water main break, if there's nasty weather outside and we've had to close the swimming pools during the summer, if there's a snowstorm and we are uh, closing the parks um, to prevent people from driving, um, excess driving, that information will be displayed up in the orange bubble. So whenever you come to the site, please take a minute to, to check the information in the orange bubble and see if that gives information on what you were planning to do. Um, for the day. You can close the orange bubble by clicking on the X. You don't have to. You can leave it up. So on the park information page you see general information on the park. So here we go, Broad Ripple Park. Uh, this information here is all information entered by the, the facility. Some parks will have more information here than others. Some parks may not have information in here when you're looking at the park. Uh, that, that may mean it's either a newer park or parks that we have not had um, adequate time to get the uh, park blurb written for. Park features is a general blurb on things that are found in the park, and the same thing with aquatic features. These may or may not come up depending on um, whether there is content in the system for it or not. On the side, you'll see again the name of the park, the address of the park, um, a link to the phone number if you have dialing software. This will auto-dial uh, that number out, a link to the uh, 
to email the park manager. And then links where you can get information on how to drive here, bike here, walk here, or take the bus. And those links will take you to a Google map, again using your current location, will tell you the, the best routes um, using each of the modes of transportation to get there, including mapping bus routes. And all of our parks um, have Facebook site locations and Facebook pages, so you can take a second to follow your favorite park's Facebook page. Uh, that way you can stay up to date on happenings inside of that specific park. Partner organizations and links to those partners. Uh, Indy Parks loves to partner with people to do things and um, a lot of our parks have standing partnerships and these are going to be links to those standing partnerships um, home pages so you can find more information out about those uh, very, very valuable partners. In the future you'll also see links down in this area to um, documents pertaining to the park. So that could be uh, copies of the park specific fun guide, it could be flyers for a specific program, um, or general information like on the master plan for the park. That information will come up down here as links. As you scroll down the page, you'll see hours of operation. These are the general hours of operation for the different locations inside of the park. So there's park center hours at Broad Ripple, the days of the week and the hours and pool hours. Also a lot of our parks have special holiday hours and you'll see those listed here as to what the holiday hours are. Facility fees um, usually uh, pertain to drop-in fees so these are specific fees for showing up at a location and participating in a program or activity that same day. These are not the fees for programs so swim lessons are actually something like swim lessons would actually be displayed in programs at this park underneath this. So the programs at this park, these are all the programs that require registration for the park um, and you'll see them listed. Uh, we are going to go back and we're actually going to change this to sort by start date. And if you click on the barcode link that'll actually take you over to the registration site where you can register online for many of our parks. It'll also provide you more information on like if you wanted to know what Camp Traditional entails, you can click on that. That'll take you over to the Registration Center, which will provide you more information. Right now, I'm going to go back to the Search feature by going up to the top and clicking on Search. Um, if you're at the um, root level, if you're at the um, opening screen, you can also get to Search by clicking on Advanced Search underneath the um, Park Name Bar. So the search page is going to filter our park list um, by the different filters that you have over on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and expand our park list to show 100 sites. Um, Indy Parks currently we have 239 listed facilities um, or lo park locations. And we're able to come over here and we're able to sort and uh, filter this list by uh, attractions. So if you're looking for a park that has a computer room and open gym, you can click on both and it will show you those locations off to the side that have both activities. Sometimes you have to be careful. So if you say, I'm looking for a park with a computer room, open gym, and a nature center, well, we don't have any parks that have that specific combination of things. So unfortunately, uh, you would have to um, refine your search. Um, until you can find um, a location that, that suits your needs. There's a clear fi filters button up at the top. You can use that or you can uncheck the boxes. The other features are viewer refined by age groups. This is actually going to filter the program list down at the bottom. So if you're looking for programs that say are youth ages 3 to 17, it'll show you which parks offer, or offer programming for youth ages 3 to 17. Same thing with young adult or adult. So if you're looking for something for you to do and your child to do, so you're looking for adult programming and youth ages 3 to 17 programming, you can click on both. And finally, the, the last filter that we have is viewer refined by activity type. This is a fairly long list of all the activities that are being offered right now at Indy Parks. So if you're looking for a specific activity, you can come through the activity and say, okay, I'm looking for uh, fencing. 
it'll come up and it'll show you who's offering fencing. Um, same thing if you're looking for look and see who's offering pickleball. Carfield Park and you're able to click on view details and that'll take you over to the Garfield Park page and from there you can search through the bottom here and you should be able to find pickleball so there's our pickleball we can click on the link it'll open up the active network screen um, oh and this is a alert that you'll sometimes get I'm on the active networks page a lot so frequently I have to go out and back in so if you get that all you have to do is wait for it to refresh and then go back in it has to refresh the uh, the browser history um, for that site so here's the information on pickleball and this class is not available for internet registration because this is an actual drop-in program that's offered specific times during the day so uh, you see the class looks like it's repeated on Mondays and Tuesdays from 6.30 until 8.30 uh, with a fee of $2 per uh, admission time. So that's pretty much our new Fun Finder website. Uh, we do hope that it helps you uh, find the programs and activities and parks you're looking for throughout Indianapolis. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at asteven at indy.gov. It's listed up here at the top for the video. Uh, once we go to live um, production, uh, that probably won't be there anymore. Uh, so we're looking forward to serving you. Thank you.